Hello all, this is Subhashri from Unique Technologies Company. So today we are going to see about very important concept, major differences between primary beams and secondary beams. So first of all we can see generally about beam. So beams are generally a structural member which carries all the vertical loads and resist it from bending moment that is it will resist from bending action flexural action okay so generally there are various types of materials used for beams such as wood aluminium steel uh, reinforced concrete etc but most commonly used material is reinforced cement concrete material for casting beams okay so beam is generally a horizontal or lateral member okay so these are all some of the uh, images of beams so it is a horizontal or lateral member this is high section beam okay so next we will see about uh, primary beam concept of primary beam so the beams that are connecting columns or secondary beams for transferring loads directly to the column is known as primary beam okay usually primary beams are simply supported and they are provided in a regular building structure during construction purpose okay so de the depth of the primary beam is always greater than the secondary beam so these beams are horizontal flexural member that is directly connected to the supporting compressive or buckling structural member that is it is directly connected to the column member okay so next point so this primary beam is also known as main beam which safely transfers the whole structure loads to the column acting on it on it by the slab or by secondary beam if it is present okay so these are all some of the images of primary beam so in this first image so this is the primary beam so this is the primary beam the beam which is connecting column c4 and column c3 is the primary beam and this is the secondary beam so it is lying on both it, it that is the secondary beam is lying both the sides on beams only okay so this is the secondary beam in the second image if we see means so this is the primary beam the beam which is connecting on the column so secondary beam is the above slab in a, in between slab and beam is there okay so that beam is called as the secondary beam so depending on the structural construction requirement the beams will vary okay for transferring load purpose so in between slab secondary beam is placed so this is the secondary beam so the beam which is connecting column to column directly is known as primary beam okay so now next we will see about the secondary beam so the beams that are connecting primary beams for sorry the beams that are connecting for transferring loads of a structure to a primary beam are known as secondary beams okay so a horizontal beam that is the beams that is uh, secondary beams connecting primary beams or simply supported so these beams are provided for supporting and reducing deflection of the beam and slab for reducing the deflection that is a displacement or the bending action of uh, the beam and slab we are providing these uh, secondary beam so this beam will transfer loads to the primary beam not directly connected to the columns okay it will connect to the uh, beam primary beam and that primary beam will transfer the secondary beam load to the column okay so in the first image this is the primary beam so and this is the secondary beam okay so this is the secondary beam so in this first image you can see on in the next image this is the primary beam this is the secondary beam the beam which is connecting the primary beam is known as the secondary beam okay so as i said before the beam which is connected to column to column is always known as 
primary beam on the beam which is connected either to beam to beam or wall to wall uh, is known as primary beam okay sorry uh, either beam to beam or wall to wall is known as secondary beam okay uh, one side beam and one side wall is also known as secondary beam so these are all some of the useful points of primary and secondary beam when it is connected with beam to beam or wall to wall at midpoint or some other point it is uh, definitely called as secondary beam when the beam is connected to column to column support alone is called as the primary beam okay so these are all some of the concepts of primary and secondary beam uh, so this concept is very useful for college students so those who are currently pursuing uh, currently doing mini project work and also this concept will be very much helpful at the time of attending interviews okay where we will get uh, technical questions like uh, difference between primary and secondary beam along with diagram explanation okay so these are all some of the uh, details of primary and secondary beam and their major difference okay i hope the video is very useful thank you